A typographical and photographic exploration by Alfstar and Mr Ness. Sometimes things are hidden right in front of your eyes. A for achievement. It is such a great feeling to see all my hard work for this project to come together. I really feel like I have achieved. B for brave. I've been really brave trying something new. Combining photography and type was a real hard challenge for me, but I stuck with it and love what I have created. C for compassion. I am learning it is important to be able to be compassionate to other people, but equally to myself. T for determination. I am determined to enjoy myself as much as I can. E for expression. It is really important for me to be able to express how I'm feeling and to express myself in fun ways and art and creativity is a great way for me to do this. F for fun. During this project it's been really fun to explore the school and carefully look for the hidden letters. Letters can be hidden anywhere if you just look. G for grounding. I didn't know the word grounding until this project, but now I understand how important it is. H for honesty. It is important for me to try and be honest with myself. By doing this, I can understand what I enjoy, what I don't enjoy, and what I find difficult. From this, I can grow and be happy. I for independent. I've had to work independently as well as in a team. This has helped me to really take real ownership of my creation and show my personality. J for judgment. Sometimes I feel like people judge me for things that I've done in the past. Also, I have been quick to judge other people and I want to try and be less judgmental and show people that we all make mistakes in who I really am. K for kindness. While searching for the letters, other teachers have been really kind, helping us with their ideas. L for learning. I want to make my learning more creative. I find difficulty concentrating in the classroom. So by me having a mixture of physical and creative lessons makes me happy and want to learn. M for mindfulness. I feel that I can be more mindful in my day-to-day -day life, feeling in touch with my feelings and appreciating the moment. N for nature. Nature makes me feel happy and relaxed. O for ownership. This project has seen me take real ownership of my learning and creative journey. P for perseverance. In the past, I would sometimes give up when I found things hard, but now when I find difficulties in my work, including this project, I haven't let it get to me. I persevered and stayed positive until I've achieved my goal. Q for quirky. I think I have a quirky personality and I love it. R for resilience. Sometimes I can get really angry or upset. It's good for me to feel and understand my emotions. But as I'm getting older, I will be able to not let things bother me as much. 
S for sensitivity. I think I'm quite a sensitive person and I see this as a strength, not a weakness. T for teamwork. I'm really trying to improve on my teamwork skills. Teamwork has been really important for this project. U for unique. Everyone is unique in their own way, including me. We should all celebrate diversity. V for values. We all have values that we believe in. I will stand by mine. W for weird but wonderful. I thought the idea for this project seemed a bit weird at first, but together we have created a wonderful thing. X for X-ray. X-ray means to photograph or examine the inside of something. That's kind of what we've done. We've taken photographs and explored the school. Why? For yourself. Similarly to what I said for C, sometimes you have to really focus on yourself and make sure you're happy in your life. Z for zero, the number of letters still to find for this project. He's Alfstar. And he's Mr. Ness. Thank you for watching our video. Peace out.